let's start by getting the top out of the way with hair grippers. Then I'll decide the distance between my blending in line and my bald line. If you want to make life harder for yourself, go higher with your bald line. So the bald line first, I'm using my Andis T outliner. This is the finest blade that I have on a clipper and I'm just gonna remove all the hair below my bald line. Now you'll notice at the front, at the temple, I've left a little dip. The reason for the dip is because if I keep it a little bit darker around that area, it kind of frames the face a little bit. So clean the whole area down and then go over your bald area with your foil shaver. That takes it down to absolutely nothing and we can work up from there. Each grade that we move up with on the clipper will be about the width of a pencil. And I'm starting with my Andis T outliner again. So I'm just gonna go a pencil width up into this line and I'm gonna follow it so it'll be parallel all the way along this line. Clean that off again. Now the same thing with the zero on the wall magic clip. That's the next grade up from the T outliner. Then the same thing with the one and a half. I'll just work into that line about one pencil width again. With that out of the way, we can move on to the number one and again, about one pencil width. So we're building up into different layers of stubble. Now, the one and a half, slightly different now, we're gonna work straight up, but not round over to the parting, just aim for the ceilings. So we're going higher than a pencil width here, work your way straight up. Don't take away the bulk up by that parting, remember. I do see some people do that, but I think it can look a bit severe, so let's keep it like that. And I want to style the hair over towards the camera uh, when I'm finished. I don't want it to be swept over the way it's gripped. Okay, I'm taking a step back now. I'm putting the half guard on, and I'm just gonna try and scrub out this line here. So I don't wanna go as high as I did with my one. just going up I'm using the corner of the clipper and I'm just going to go a little bit higher on that line there I'll work my way over that and you can see it's starting to disappear but sometimes the half guard doesn't pick everything up and just the bare blade with the lever down it's the same length but it does a better job of picking the hair up so it's metal it's just a easier way to pick the hair up so this is me just picking away what I'm looking for now is little shadows little marks that I can use the corner of the clipper to tidy up now that we have a good blend going I'm going to make downward strokes with the foil shaver that can just soften any line that might be there although there's barely anything there to be seen around the temple i'm going to use my exposed blade shavette just to cut a bit more definition in that face framing shape so just slightly inside the hairline i don't want anything dramatic i just want a subtle line to frame my client's face but a line that is there nonetheless With this weight at the top, I'm gonna to use my big flat clipper comb and what I'm gonna do is try and create a straight line by lifting the hair up and I'm gonna run the clipper up the teeth. I don't want to hold the comb vertically, I want to hold it horizontally and, and that way I can ensure that I'm blending up to the same point when I'm working. The client doesn't actually have straight hair which would make this really prominent you'd be able to see the blended line, but his hair's a bit curlier. This is the finished look. I've used this model for another video on my channel, so if you'd like to see how to cut the top of this and learn about cutting hair with clip it over comb, then click this video here. Until next time, good luck with your fades.